on the banks of the Rio Grande River in northern New Mexico, about halfway between Taos and Santa Fe, nestled on 100 acres of wooded and lush bottom land, lies La Astacia Alegre. The ranch is home to approximately 40 well-bred Peruvian horses and a dedicated group of professionals who breed and train the horses to become not only flashy and accomplished show horses, but reliable and trustworthy pleasure horses. Welcome to La Estancia Alegre. We're located in the Española Valley, which is exactly halfway between Santa Fe and Taos in New Mexico on the Rio Grande River. We, uh, we breed Peruvian Paso horses. We have a herd of approximately 40 horses, combined of mares, breeding mares, stallions, foals, yearlings, weanlings, horses in training, and show horses and trail horses, some of which are do both show and trail. The name of our ranch, La Estancia Alegre, developed actually before I owned horses. We were building a house in New Mexico, and our plasterer loved building our house. And he walked in one day and he said, this is Casa Alegre. So we named the house Casa Alegre. And then a few months later, we got horses, and then we decided we were a ranch. And so obviously the ranch had to be called La Estancia Alegre. I first heard about the Peruvian horse when I was living in California and I read an article about the horse in the Los Angeles Times. And it was really the ideal horse. We were thinking of moving to New Mexico and I wanted a horse to ride on the trails and two horses actually to ride on the trails. And um, when I arrived here, I found someone very shortly after we arrived, and she had Peruvians, and she lived practically next door. And I bought my first Peruvian horse, and somehow they multiplied into 40. And now I have lots of choices. Um, I, I really like this breed because of the gait, primarily because of the gait. I wanted a smooth riding horse to ride in the mountains. I had grown up with hunters and jumpers, and it didn't seem to me to be the kind of horse that I could go out all day, go on the trail, stop, have lunch, get back on, and not have to soak in a hot tub for several hours to get rid of the kinks. And this horse is, has a wonderful disposition, and they're just a lovely horse. Their miles of beautifully wooded trails around the ranch provide ample opportunity for the horses to enjoy being trail companions. The Peruvian horse was bred to cover long distances comfortably. With their four-beat lateral gait, the Peruvian horse gives its riders the smoothest ride in the world. The forelegs of the Peruvian horse move as if they were always on parade, a motion that is called termino. The gait is inherent in the breed and completely natural. The gait of the Peruvian horse is genetically passed to 100% of their offspring. The ancestors of the breed were the horses of the Spanish conquistadors, brought to Peru to conquer the New World. In Peru, the horse was used by plantation owners to oversee large family operations and cover long distances. Their breeding program focuses on gait, strength, disposition, and substance in the horse's conformation. They breed horses that are well suited for both the show ring and as reliable pleasure and trail horses. Our breeding program is something that Roberto and I discuss at great lengths. We travel a lot during the year to horse shows 
and he drives and I drive and all we talk about is who we're going to breed next year. Um, we really, we look for really good structure on a horse, uh, good legs, straight legs. Of course we want good gait and brio and all the wonderful things that Peruvians have. But you cannot have a good riding horse unless it has a good structure. Uh, the one very important thing for me is that we, we look at our mares. If we have a mare that has too many faults, we just don't breed her. I don't believe that you can take a mare with many faults and find a stallion that'll correct everything. And obviously there's not a perfect horse, we're all striving to get that. But in order to get close, you need to start with a really good mare. Very good mare, very sound mare, uh, well-built mare, well-gated mare, and with a good disposition. And then you need to find the right stallion for that mare to either perfect her gait, make a better, better neck, better headset, better rear end, better impulsion, and hopefully the baby will be the perfect horse you've been looking for. The first stallion that I purchased was Domek, and I really didn't have much of an idea about breeding this horse or breeding, getting into Peruvians in a big way as I have. And Domek I purchased because he was a wonderful endurance horse. He was the first Peruvian horse to be registered, double registered in the Peruvian registry and also the Endurance Horse of America. He competed at the age of eight before I owned him, and he would finish in the top 10 in California uh, of all the endurance horses. And he's still at the age now of 25, he's just amazing. His legs are strong, his body is strong, he's full of energy. And to ride him, he has a smooth, absolutely fabulous gait. He just floats. And we've bred him quite a bit, and we have a lot of wonderful daughters and only one stallion of his. For some reason, he's produced mostly fillies. And they're very smooth, and we're now breeding them and getting wonderful babies from them. We have a show in Denver that we do every year. It's a double show with two clubs, and it's judged separately with two different judges. And it's, uh, for us, it's the closest show to us so therefore we usually take about 10 horses. And this year we took, uh, we did have three horses that were the get of Domek, and we had a stallion and two mares and in that class, and we won the class. And there was very good competition at that show because there were nine states and several provinces from um, Canada that were represented. And we're very proud of his get. They are very strong, the mares have all of them have great rear ends and really good impulsion, and they cover a lot of ground. So we're very proud to have those three at that show win first place. Also at the Gold Rush show, we, um, we showed two mares in the Produce of Dam class. Uh, the first mares I bought for breeding were from Ugo Nieto in Ica, Peru. And one of those mares has produced for us two beautiful mares. One of them is Guadalupe and the other one is Poema. Poema has won 13 Champion of Champions. She's won 16 Zoo Technical classes, which is the confirmation class for the Peruvian horse. And now Guadalupe at the age four has won one high point horse of show at the Gold Rush Classic. She won best gated horse of show and she just was wonderful. 
We're very proud of both of them. And they also won the uh, Produce of Dam class at the Gold Rush Classic. They have won Produce of Dam in every, every time we have shown them, both in 2003 and this year in 2004. This is a trophy that Poema won at uh, the 2001 Futurity. The Futurity was begun in 2001 and it's every two years and she won for Champion of Champions Breeding Mare. So it's a very special trophy. It's a very beautiful trophy because it shows the Peruvian horse and gait. And it's bronze and it's just very lovely and it's one of our most valued trophies. When I was looking for foundation mares to begin our breeding program, I really liked a lot of the get, and I like the horse named HNS Domingo. He was a wonderful, wonderful horse who recently died. But he was about 11 years old when I first saw him, and he was just fantastic. And I looked around through, I looked at, did a lot of study, I looked at a lot of bloodlines, and for some reason nobody seemed to have any Hugo Nieto mares. And I thought that that was really very strange, and I began my hunt for mares from Nieto. And I found three mares that I purchased, and one of them was the mother of our black stallion. I bred him to a horse of Hugo Nieto's named Conquistador. When I purchased her, and she had this wonderful black colt who was born on our property. And from the day he was born, he was drop-dead gorgeous, I thought. And I think he's remained that ever since. And I just love him, and I was very lucky that he was born here and, and that he has turned out to be such a nice horse. Conquistador has done really well for us from the time he was in Bosal. And he entered the arena, he has this wonderful, natural, high headset. And he come into the arena and just sparkle. And he won several Best Bosal Horse of Show championships. And then as a breeding stallion, he has won, I think, three or four championships in Texas and in California and in Colorado also. And in the breeding division and then also in the performance horse division, he's won two champion champions. So he's, at the age of seven, he's done very well for us. And he's now producing babies, and they're all different colors, from black to palomino. And they're all very well gated with that beautiful headset, and so we're very proud of him. At the ranch, their training philosophy is to allow the horse to develop and learn naturally, at their own pace. Their training methods and techniques have proven so successful that they share their program through a series of training videos offered by the ranch. Welcome to the Estancia Alegre. My name is Roberto Quijandria. Uh, I've been working eight years training the horses. My approach to the training is just to give her time and uh, not to pushing too much at the beginning, don't let it work too hard, just um, spend more time during the training. Just to teach to move the hind quarter. When I'm going to saddle and then start riding, I'm going to ask for 
The trainer at La Estancia, Alegre, has been in the U.S. since 1982 and has been key in developing seminars and training in educational clinics for all breeds of horses. They've hosted dressage clinics, forest service clinics, and even schools for people who purchase wild Mustangs from the BLM adoption programs. People asked us about would we do a video and, and they loved the way Roberto trained. And we have uh, another gentleman that works here who's our ranch foreman and he raises Spanish Mustangs which are, you know, the horses that were originally came over with the, spent with the conquistadors. So they are in back of the Peruvian horse. So there was a big relationship between, they're all Spanish horses. And his name is Rula Vannon, And he trains, comes from a totally different place, has grown up his whole life in New Mexico. And Roberto grew up his whole life in Peru. And it was very interesting that the two men work very much the same way with the horses. So we put together, we've put together two tapes, training tapes. One is basically groundwork, working with young horses until they're ready to go into Bosal. And the other tape is from Bosal to Bit. And we've sold many of them and we're actually working on getting a third tape, training tape that we will also sell in the future. As part of their goal to educate and inform the public about the special attributes of the Peruvian horse, Barbara, Roberto, and their friends have participated in exhibitions at the Living Museum near Santa Fe, where they display to enthusiastic crowds the beauty and gracefulness of the Peruvian horses. These exhibitions are an opportunity for the public to experience the horses up close and learn more about the suitability of the horses for many different activities. We have a uh, living museum in New Mexico where we try to take the horses to do an exhibition there every year. And we've done this exhibition about 12 years, sometimes not consecutively, but they get, we do two, two Two performances Saturday and two on Sunday, and there are anywhere from three to five hundred people that show up for each performance. Most of them have never seen a Peruvian horse, and they just love them. And after the performance, we we stop and we mingle with the crowd, and they all get to pet the horses. And there are babies and little children, and and the Peruvian is just such a wonderful horse. These people don't, you know, they're not conscious of standing in back of a horse or the horse might kick and these horses never kick they don't bite they're just personable and the kids are always reaching out and petting them and it's just a wonderful opportunity to mingle with people and let them see the horse Roberto is regarded by many as one of the finest Peruvian trainers in the breed. Considered one of the top Enfrinadura trainers in both the U.S. and Peru, Roberto is unbeaten in U.S. competition in this special and prestigious reigning discipline of the Peruvian horse world. People come to La Estancia Alegre to see the horses. They, they come and they see the horses. They come to Santa Fe. They go to Taos. They go skiing. And, you know, we're just part of the tourist attraction. And the horses are very special. And they do travel here to see, just to see our horses. Um, we, have, we have a very good reputation, and I think a great deal of it has to do with our training program with Roberto, who is such a wonderful trainer. He's so gentle with the horses, and it shows. And it's taken a few years for people to now make the journey to see us, rather than to just stay in Texas and see all the many, many ranches in Texas or all the many, many ranches in California. We are the only one in New Mexico, so they do have to make 
the special effort to come to see us, and it's, it's worth it because we have wonderful trails, we have wonderful horses, and a very good reading program. I like the Peruvian breed because it's very versatile, uh, and I love riding on the trail, and it's really wonderful to go and get your horse and have him just be there for you, and, and he's usually very calm and quiet, and saddle him up, get on him, and there's just all this energy, and when you ask for it, he gives it, and he's smooth, and you can just ride all day. You can ride him English, Western, bareback, or Peruvian. I prefer the Peruvian saddle. Um, it's what I started with, and I find it the most comfortable saddle in the world. And I think the horse, it's built for the horse. And I just never ride him in any other saddle, but certainly other people do. And the horse is my friend. Barbara and her staff of professionals at La Estancia Alegre invite anyone interested in learning more about the Peruvian horses to contact them or call to arrange a visit. They welcome the opportunity to share with others the unique nature and attributes of the Peruvian Paso, the gated horse of Peru.